a week into this thing. Uh, how's it looking on the offensive side? Uh, it's, it's looking great. Um, we, we're moving the ball pretty well. And one thing we've been wanting to preach is about being consistent. And we've been consistent throughout the practices and of training camp. But we still got a lot of things we can do to just to get better. You know, you can never be satisfied with just being good. We want to be great. So it's been looking great for us. How, how much emphasis is being put on getting the running backs involved? And has any of those guys really kind of stood out? You know, Elijah, um, in the first scrimmage, Elijah um, maybe rushed over 200 rushing yards. And that's what our thing is this year. We want to run the ball pretty well this year. And he did that in the first scrimmage. And Tyson Williams, who's a freshman running back, who's been looking absolutely wonderful. Um, Romar Morris, TJ Logan, those guys are full. Of, we got a lot of guys that can run the ball pretty well. And as long as we're behind, we have those guys behind running back, we should be all right. Marcus, how are things different for you, or are they different for you, during the season, knowing that you are the guy quarterback that you're not competing all the time? I mean, it's not nothing different. You know, I still have that mindset of going out and competing. You know, I mean, you can never be satisfied of just knowing that you're the one, you know. So I come out every day hungry like I was two years ago and last year. And that's my motto. I just love to go out and ground with my guys. And it's fun when you're competing. It's not fun when you just something's handed to you. It's fun when you're going out winning and just competing and having fun with the guys. And internally, though, does it lead to a greater sense of confidence? Yeah, I mean, yeah, confidence really never leaves me, as you know. I mean, it never leaves me if I'm behind or if I'm, I'm leading the trail. But, you know, I just play play my game and I do it at what I was asked. And, with the guys, they they believe in me, so that's all that matters. Coach, you mentioned this time here about Coach just was talking about the need for his defense to be physical. From your perspective, have you seen an improvement in that regard? Again? You know, uh, different minds. Coach Chiz is going to want want more out of the um, defense, but me, I seen those guys and they they look great. Um, physical is where it's been this this um, training count. Those guys come out, come in and fill the holes and blitzes, and um, those guys have shut us out more than one day this, this training camp. And that's what we want, because that's giving them confidence. And those, are, those guys are going to go down in Charlotte and have some fun. And it's a different mentality on the defense side of Paul that I'm excited to see this year. You sure. mentioned that against the Pinehurst, you may have to run less this yeah. year or you'd like to. Yeah. How hard is that to actually do? Because some of that, I would imagine, if you see an opening and you know you can go for it, so you do. Yeah. How, how, how are you handling that? I mean, if there's still a pass progression in, I'm on my one, two, three, and down to my check down. If there's nobody there, I'm still going to take off. But, you know, with the running backs we have and the offense alignment, how confident confidence those guys are this year, we're going to move the football running game with Elijah and TJ and Romar. The offense alignment have so much confidence. This training camp is like those guys were ready to come out and prove other people wrong this year. And like I keep telling them, they're the best offense alignment in the country. Can you handle – I mean, I don't know how – Beat up you felt at the end of last year with the number of runs you, you did. Can you can you go through that? Can you take that many hits and keep running as much as you do? Do you have to pull that part back just for your health? Whatever my team needs needs me to do, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna lay it out out on the line. You know, I, I got beat up last year, but hey, that's what my team needed me to do. And I'm a team player. It's not about me. If they need me to jump off a cliff, hey, I'm gonna have to jump off that cliff. But it's just about the being about the team. It's not about me. Um, it's just going out executing putting the ball in the playmaker's hands and going through my progressions and playing on my clock. And that's all it's about. The circumstances had you working with Tommy Haddon this week. How, how's he coming along as a true freshman? Oh, he, he's, he's been doing great. Um, you know, there's a lot of, like, man, I don't want to mess up and then you mess up. But, you know, when you keep telling a uh, person, just think back to when you played high school football. Everything was easy. You knew you was the best player on the field. And when you get that mindset, you, you come out and you start to compete. And when I kept telling him, like, I was like, man, there's times you might have a bad snap, but I'm going to help you out because I can get that. I'm like Eric Jordan back there. But, you know, I just keep telling him, just, just play with confidence, have fun, smile, keep a positive attitude because when you're positive, positive things are going to come out, out of the outcome. When you're negative, then something's bad going to happen. But he's looking good, and there's times he can improve. But I love this guy. He's going to be a great help for this football team this year. How much motivation is there for you guys to finally get over the hump against NC State this year? Um, you know, uh, we're not really looking for uh, looking at State right now, but you know, we're excited to get another opportunity. I'm excited to get another opportunity because this will be my last one. And we're going to come out, we're going to play the game just like we know how to play it. Last year, we know we didn't play smart, fast, and physical. 
who wasn't physical at all. But, you know, things change. It's a brand new year. We're looking at a brand new season. New defense, new defense staff, you know, same offense. We're going, we're proving, but we're excited, and I know they're excited too. What does rivalry mean to you guys? Could you say it again? What does the rivalry mean to you guys? I mean, it's a rival, you know. We, we look at it as like they hate us, we hate them. But hey, it is what it is, and that's football. That's college football, and you know, when it's all said and done, you know, there's still some guys on the team I'm friends with, like Jalen Samuels, who played high school ball with me, and Vernon Greer, who played high school ball with me. That's a rival game. That's football. But, you know, you want to come out on top. You want to have the bragging rights. You know, you want to go to Raleigh and feel like, hey, I'm the man up here, you know? But when you go out there and you lose, and it's just like you see a state fan, you, don't, you can't really say anything to them because they beat us. But we have fun, and it's just all in about the game. Mark, we mentioned the fact that your confidence never leaves you. You have gone through some rougher stretches yeah. during your time, and you're fighting your way up the depth chart to being out of school for a bit. Mm -hmm. Where do you think that confidence that you have comes from and how did you develop it? You know, it's just being humble. You know, um, like you say, when I was kicked out of school, I had to think about how much football really means to me. You know, being away from those guys, getting up at five o'clock in the morning, and I'm still just sitting there like, man, I'm not with my team. That kind of put a hurt to my heart. So I, I feel like, you know, football is everything to me. So that built me more confidence in that way. Um, watching those grind, watching those guys grind this summer was probably the time I really felt like, man, I, I really love this game. I love being around these guys. And you're watching my offensive lineman running 120s in like 16, 16, 16 seconds in skill time. Like they never did that before. And how much we sweat, I mean, sweat, blood, and tears we do around here, you know, that gives me a lot of confidence. And just the adversity, you know, I heard um, Russell Wilson say, adversity is an opportunity. And that's what I look at. When adversity hits me, it's another opportunity just to bounce back and be strong. You said you felt more flexible after the surgery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you, is that something that you've noticed on, on the field during practice? And, yeah. And how much has that helped you? Well, that's kind of funny because, like I say, when I, I remember I played against Pitt two years ago, we had Eric Ebron. And he was like, I don't know how you are really juking anybody because you're not going anywhere. You know, he, he thought it was funny. He say like, your one step is like just moving your upper body and not your lower body. <laughs> so he used, to, he used to mess with me about that. But my body feels good. I feel like I can move now. I can really drive the football the way I want to well, um, with my hip. And I like I keep telling everybody, I wish I could get my right hip. I have surgery on my right hip if I could be flexible in that one too. You, when, when they talk about running the ball and, and, and the wear and tear, that kind of flexibility, that kind of evadability maybe, Will that help you not get hit maybe as, as much? You know, I mean, there were just times, I mean, I could have protected myself, but just wanted to be that 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 hero, you know. And, um, I don't, sometimes I shouldn't be that hero, you know. Sometimes I need to lay down. And I'm back, I was back in high school, man. I mean, one-on-one -on -one with anybody, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the person. But I just have, I got to be more smart this year and protect myself and because it's not about me. It's, it's about my team and those guys going to need me. What do you think of that? Uh, the unis are fly, man. You know, it's the, it's the best unis in the country. Yeah. You know, I like the Argyle. It's, it's kind of pretty cool, you know, to finally have that on there. But, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Uh, this is why you come to this school. Great uniforms, great people, great community, great staff. I mean, those, they look out for us. And, you know, we got to we gotta play good. If we look good, we're going to play good, you know. Mark Reese, uh, obviously, with your senior, does that come with any kind of added pressure or sense of urgency? No pressure at all. You, you think about pressure, it's like, man, I got to think about what's the draft and all that. I just need to go out and play my game. And, you know, that's what I tell the seniors each day. We got to go out and play our game. We can't think about it being our last go around. So we have to do this, do this. It's just playing the game, playing reports, playing relax, and having fun because this is your last chance here at University of North Carolina to play football. And we may never get to put pads on again. So why not have fun doing it while we can right now? You look at the roster, and it's obviously loaded with talent, but it's a 500 program the past two years. You feel like this is your, your last shot here to kind of maybe right some wrongs? Yes, that's right. I mean, it's, it's been up and downs, up and down. And, you know, this time it's, it's kind of been a different mentality around here. Guys have been playing, um, busting their butts just to get better. Like I said, in the offseason, I've never <clears> seen people come in on Wednesdays. Wednesdays are our off days. And, those guys come in just to get extra work in, you know, and I keep telling them, I told the guys last night in a speech, 
you are what you say you do, you're not what you repeatedly say. So if you keep doing something and you can repeatedly do it, that's what, who you are, but you're not what you repeatedly say. And the guys that hit those guys last night because we got to come out and be consistent every day. Even when we're in training camp, when we're waking up tired and don't want to go, we have to find a way to get it going because you got to keep doing what you say you're going to do. And yeah. How many wins will it take for you to consider this season a success? How many wins? Yeah. Uh, all of them. You know, um, that's, that's the goal is to win every game, man. Like I told the guys last night also in the speech, championships, championship is an overused word and it's very expensive. And what I mean by expensive is coaches, Bobby, Kevin, all those guys, they paying a price just to be here to help us win the championship. It's expensive. And you think about the players, player, I mean, the coaches, they're with their, they missing out on their wives. The wives not here. And players, we, um, we're going out each day on the field just hitting each other, beating up our bodies. So that's why I say it's very expensive. And the way we bounce back and how we elaborate and we come together and we keep fighting each day just to reach that championship is the goal.